Well, hi everyone. Welcome back. Um, let's do some learning together. Let's do some learning together. And today, today, I thought we'd look at the basics of computer networking. The basics of computer networking. Um, let's get straight into it. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, computers networking is it's a practice of um, joining lots of computers together, whether it be local, whether it be around the world. Really, it's for data exchange uh, between them. All right. So that is really what a computer network is. So they can share data. Right. Uh, here are some of the cons concepts of uh, computer networking. Uh, a network. A network is um, a collection of computers and other devices, uh, printers, etc. Okay, so, um, it's made up of nodes. There's different nodes, um, which we're going to look at later. Servers, printers, and lots of other devices, routers, switches. And they're set out in a certain way so that um, computers can communicate with each other. Right. So let's go uh, to the uh, first, a protocol. A protocol is a set of rules, standards um, that are tra transmitted over the network. The way uh, they communicate, they use packets called packets. And they're packets of information that go around the network really fast, all made up of binary, noughts and um, ones, on and off. And yeah, we've got some uh, protocols here in, included. TCP, Transfer Control Protocol. And IP, which is Internet Protocol. They sort of work together. When we look at the later on the layers of a computer network, you'll see that they're closely related. HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, right? That's normally websites use that, HTT, and they also use what's called, to write the website, HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, all right? And the last one on that list is FTP, File Transfer Protocol, all right? Now, we have, uh, in a computer network, we have different topologies. They're laid out in different ways. The physical uh, hardware, right, have different uh, topologies. We'll be looking at them in a minute, but you can see some of the examples. We've got bus, star, ring, mesh, and tree. Okay, there's some of the topologies. I'll explain what the best topologies are when we get there. All right. So, the next, we've got LAN, Local Area Network. It's a network that covers a small area, such as a building, um, your house, um, an office is a LAN. All right? So, it's with, really, it's within a building. All right? Then we've got a WAN, a Wide Area Network. Right? A WAN is a network that covers a large geographic area, area such as city, country, even the world today. Okay, WANs connect lands together. And uh, they're typically used for long distances. All right, so um, got LAN, which is a building. We've got WAN that joins lands together um, as big as globally. All right. So let me go through my slides. Ah, IP addresses. IP addresses are um, a new, a unique identifier, and each individual computer or component will have an IP address on the network, uh, and it it identifies uh, the devices and enable communications between them. Uh, for instance. Normally, within a LAN or your home, the IP address would be a 
0 0.1 up to 255. 1 to 255. Right. There are other ways we can manipulate IP addresses, but let's not go into that. Uh, DNS, domain name systems. It's a protocol that uh, translates um, readable domain names such as oh, Google, Facebook, um, and it translates that into an IP address, right? And the IP address is, is what uh, computers understand. Okay, so the, the dynamic name uh, system controls physical names to an IP address, right? Uh, a firewall, firewall is a security uh, system. Um, it controls incoming um, traffic to your computer or to your network, sorry, to your network. Um, a, let's give you a typical firewall. Um, you'll have one on in Windows. I think it's called Defender. I don't use that because I use a, a VPN. We won't go into VPNs, <laughs> virtual private networks, but uh, that's what I use. But they are a security system. Um, you can configure your firewall to let certain traffic in certain websites but you can stop them say there's a website or someone's trying to get into your network you can um you can cut them off uh there is a thing within the wire for uh, the firewall that's called you can whitelist whitelist say a website to let it in that's called the whitelist um Networking is a, a, it's very vast, it's very complex. That's why I'm only um, looking at the basics. Um, and they do take a lot of maintenance. You'll find that most companies have a dedicated um, network team to look after the computer network. All right, let's look at the next one. Computer network, and it says here, an interconnection of multiple devices, also known as hosts connected using multiple paths the purpose of sending receiving data or media um, they can include multiple devices uh, did mediums uh, which help communicate between the uh, devices these are known as network devices right include such things as routers switches hubs and bridges let's have a look at those let me come down Okay, we've got a router. Um, a router is like the main, what's the main, it's the first thing that connects to the network. Right, so you'll have a router, such as you've got a Wi-Fi router, probably in your house. And then from there, it distributes to the LAN. So the router is normally between the WAN and the LAN right and um there'll be as two parts of a router there's the outside and the inside basically the outside <coughs> will have your network so you i don't know you might use virgin network you might need B, bt and they will allocate that an outside um ip address normally a lot of them start with 10 dot something and the inside you will have what we call a default gateway which is normally uh, the lowest uh, IP address in your LAN the 198 address a hub is a node that's around the network and it's like you'll have so many hubs say 10 hubs in the UK and they are the backbone, the backbone. And then they go to routers, routers go to switches within the LAN, normally within the LAN, okay? And they switch, as you can see, you can see all these little ports on here. You will have uh, a router to the switch, a switch from one of them ports to an individual computer. It'll go, uh, remember we talked about um, cat 
5 Cat6 cable with an RJ45 connector. They will normally have that going through uh, through the building unless you have a wireless network, a wireless router. A bridge extends, basically extends the distance between uh, the cables, right? And you have a wireless bridge. So that's the basic components, nodes of a network. Now we've got different topologies, um, different way uh, computer networks are laid out. And these are the most common. We've got the star, where you have a central hub, and off that hub are the different routers. We have a mesh, where all the different routers connect to each other. We have um, hybrid, which can be made up of several different topologies. Uh, the tree, again, it's really a hybrid. We've got the daisy chain, right? The daisy chain, point to point, and the ring. Daisy chain um, used to be, it's really the bus, the bus uh, topology. Now, things like this topology and point to point are not very good for, um, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? If a node goes down, point to point, you would not be able to connect. Resilience, it's not very good for resilience. Whereas the mesh, if a node goes down, the routers can connect through different routes. So if this one here was to go down, you can still route to the different routers. All right? So really, you need resilience within your topology. That's why uh, in my house I have uh, a wireless network, but I've got it meshed. I've got little mesh um, repeaters. So if one of my uh, repeaters go down, because my house is three three stories, I have to, uh, and I've got the router in the middle floor, and so it distributes to my um, wireless. Um, I suppose you call them switches, I suppose. And then they distribute and connect in the mesh system. And then on my most important things, each of the hubs or switches or whatever you want to call them, repeaters, has an RJ45 connector. So like all my computer equipment here, has RJ45 straight into the, the node. Okay, the uh, repeater or switch whatever you want to call it okay so that's the different topologies just a quick look at them now we've got the uh osi open system interconnection right this is um layers right and there's a standard that's oh it's years and years old years and years and everybody tries to follow the osi open system interconnection uh protocols right let's have a look at them the layers don't expect you to remember it but it's just a, a quick insight into the layers we've got seven layers the bottom layer is the physical layer so that's the things you can touch yeah so that's the routers the uh the cables all right then we've got the data link layer uh the network layer transport layer, session lower, layer, presentation layer, and application layer. Your applications are right at the top. I don't want to go through all of these layers. I don't think you need to know it. It's just, uh, you can look it up on the internet, but it'll take us hours, hours and hours to go through these layers. All right. Uh, a protocol, set of rules, algorithms, um, and defines a way how two entities can communicate across the network. Uh, lots of different protocols, um, and they work in each layer of the OS, um, the OSI model. All right, 
Here's a few of the uh, the protocols. Let's go to the first one. TCP, Transfer Control Protocol. IP, Internet Protocol. ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. Okay. DHCP, Dynamic Host Control Protocol. And FTP, File Transfer Protocol. Now, File, tra file Transfer Protocol is used if you're, uh, some files can be huge, could be huge, and you use that protocol to move files around the data network. All right? Right. Host names. Each device on network is associated, it's got um, a host name, right? So, if you want to check what your host name is for your computer, um just um go into uh your command prompt if you don't know how to do that go on the bottom of your computer i don't know if you can see mine in the search and just put uh host us uh, command cmd and it'll bring up the administration command prompt right and in there just type host name all right ip address internet protocol address it's the logical address of a computer a router any node on a network has an ip address right uh, and it identifies each um device on the world wide web www all right uh ip version 4 um is um 32 bits and if you use ip version 6 it's 128 bits remember when we did the binary we did 8 bits yeah well ip version 4 uses 32 bits right 8 8 8 and 8 192.168.0.1 but it can use uh, it, as you can see it's 888 eight, and 8 remember 0 to 255 binary so uh, if you want to uh, look at your IP address just type IP config in the command prompt MAC address, media access control address. Right, if you look on the on any device on a network and you look underneath, uh, look on your router, you'll see MAC address. And it's normally they're hexadecimal. I'm not going to go into hexadecimal, but normally they're hexadecimal, right? And they're 48 bits. If you want to see what your MAC address is, uh, on your computer, type ipconvig forward slash all. All right. And that will give you quite a bit of information, but it'll also give you your IP address and your MAC address. Everything that's on a computer network has an individual, unique MAC address. All right. So... I think uh, that's enough for today. <laughs> I think that uh, you've done well. I'm sure it, um, that you've learned something because when I was uh, writing this lesson out, brought back uh, from years and years ago when I used to do a bit of networking a long, long time ago. So it brought it all back. So hope you enjoyed that quick uh, PowerPoint presentation. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like, and if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, well, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.